Good morning, beautiful people. It's another episode on Garden Update. And this morning, I'm watering the garden right now. I'm going to show you guys real quick. There you go. Yeah. I'm watering the garden and of course they're doing great. However, like every other garden, you have the issues. Issues like almost every day. Every day. I do not know. <sighs> I guess it's the bittersweet of gardening. The bittersweet sides of gardening. So, yeah, this is the first thing I do. This is Sunday morning, and I'm going to go get ready for church real quick. But before that, I'm going to take care of this. And then show you guys some of the problems that I've got. The new problems that I've got. So, yo, this is my, my neem oil mixture. I'm gonna shake, shake, shake it. Because this thing's got me messed up. Whatever it is that is eating up my plants, I don't want you here and I'm tired of dealing with you. Hmm, that's nice. That's nice. Okay. Alright. So leave me a comment um, if this is what it should look like when it's properly like mixed. Like in the right proportion of water to need more, yeah? yeah. So let's get to work here. Yeah. Hold on. So yeah, I went ahead and <clears throat> excuse me. I went ahead and uh, sprayed it all on it. I sprayed it on this book tray over because I kind of now think I have to do it every other day. Bless you. So so let so this things don't eat up my plants before I get to harvest them. And I'm tired of feeding them. Okay. I mean, I know they say you got in for your environment and whatever, but these are siblings. Let them pop out first. Let them pop out first. So, y'all, 
There's a, I, I believe last time I, I told, I told you guys, I found out what, what was. There's a lettuce, lettuces, I believe. And whatever it is here, which I'm thinking the roaches, I just didn't know roaches eat, eat green. The roaches eat green. Look at this. This is something I see here. Oh, is it this thing right here? Where are you at? Come here. Oh, no. It's right here. Yep. Right there. What is that? I don't know what it is, but I sprayed the name oil on it and it's not moving anymore, which is good. But yeah, could it be that? I see roaches here at night. Could it be roaches? They ate out a whole. This is this. This is a. Um, let me show you how big they are, cause they look so small from the top. These are spinaches. That spinach, something as big as that, was up there. I don't know if you see the stump right there. Let me help you out with this investigation. It was right here. Right here. They ate it all. They ate everything. I thought they ate the stalk and the root, but thankfully they didn't. So hopefully that one will still come back. But over there, right by that okra, I don't know if you see it, that little white stump was a new okra that sp sprouted out yesterday. They didn't let it leave. So you all know. Whatever it is, gotta go. Cause I took, I worked hard to get as much okra as I have, so I wouldn't let them just go away. And look right here, this one was sprouting yesterday too, or the day before. The leaves are almost gone. You see that? The leaves are almost gone. But on the brighter side, y'all, I think my paper is finally decided to come alive. I know they're too small. Hopefully the new money doesn't kill them, but yeah, I, I don't want them going. I don't want the whatever is eating it up. So, <coughs> I think my paper is finally decided to show up, yeah. Cause they don't look like any of the lettuces or whatever, spinach. Yep, so hopefully we'll get paper. When the season is right, even though whatever is already ate up one that sprouted out over there, and there's another one sprout, that's how I know it's pepper because I didn't plant spinach and lettuce, it's all the way up there. <coughs> I just didn't know it takes so long for peppers to sprout. And girl, be cool, let me know. Are these edible? These are beet leaves. I think I do see the mixed veggies, I'm just not sure. Are they edible? And how do you wash off this name on you if you if you're trying to eat the veggies? Like I'm scared. And I found out that radish leaves are edible too. Just don't know how to make it. Oh hell no, you did not. So this is one of the radishes that's been giving me hope to work hard. Let me show you guys. Hold on. Look at that. Can y'all see it? I think, yes. See the radish right there? Something ate it. Listen, y'all, hold on. This is my first successful garden, okay? And as much as it's good to share whatever you have with the earth and everything that lives in it i should have had the first bite of that thing not whatever is eating it up so please let me know in the comment feel free to let me know uh, roaches the roaches eat veggies because i just see them here at night do they eat veggies i don't want that i do not want no and is this due to be this radish right here that I just showed you, is it due to be harvested? I don't know. I don't know. I'm just going with the flow. So I sprayed that in my yard and all those veggies and I didn't spray it on the carrots because I haven't seen 
I haven't seen uh, anything wrong with them yet. Or the garlics, they don't eat those. My tomatoes, they sure do sometimes, but I just feel like they're still too, too young. And I don't know if y'all remember this little, little lettuce right here. I thought it wasn't, it ate out the other sprout when, the other leaf when it sprouted out. I didn't know it was gonna survive. I'll just spray neem oil on it. And here it is with a new true leaf. So hopefully I'll get a lettuce out of it. But my tomatoes are doing good. Oh, that's a carry. A new um um galaxy. So but my bunches are not really they're thriving, but I don't know what's up with them. Look at this. It, it was a lot here. Now it's three left. A lot here. Now one left. And uh, I just noticed I had to do this every once in a while. They get buried on the. I don't know why they get buried though. But they get buried on the soil for some reason when I water it like that. <laughs> yeah, some up there just can't reach. That's what I was talking about. And this are the cilantro. So far, I think they're good. Ooh, child. I cannot wait for them to get older so I can enjoy it. Oh, how no, you didn't. Oh, no, you did not eat my cilantro. Hold up. He ate my cilantro, y'all. Y'all see right there? Now you're gonna be like, she crazy. But <laughs> so yeah, yeah, I'm back inside. It's kind of cold outside, but I am almost done with what I had to do out there. Excuse me. And uh, yesterday, my husband surprised me with this. I'm not really happy with it. I'm just trying to figure out when is the right time to put it on the garden. He got me a couple of um, veggies, kale, Mom. Mom, that's hot pepper Mom. seed. Mom, this is Chinese word. Chinese word? Uh -huh. Yeah, it's written in Chinese. I can barely read. I don't know how to read it. Um, Jicama? I've never had Jicama, but... I started looking into it yesterday and found out they're like root apples. If you've had it or you know what to do with that, let me know. These I'm very, very excited about pumpkin seed, sweet pumpkin. To so eat it and the seeds. This, I just don't know when the, when, when the right time is to eat it. And these are bay leaves, belly sprouts. What am I gonna do with this? I have no clue. <laughs> I don't have chickens. Do you eat this? Do we eat this? Like the sprouts? Are they edible? What recipes? What can you do with them? And my scallions. So I'm pretty excited. I'm just gonna add them to my seed bag. And hope to use it soon since my pepper finally decided to try we'll see where we go from there it seems like I don't have an empty space and all those other empty spaces like the bok choy I did go ahead and replant um, lettuces and spinach over there so I don't know I hope it works I hope they sprout and I hope whatever is eating up my plants don't eat them because I really need spinach I just want to stock up on those spinach and lettuce for fresh salad and all of that and y'all I went ahead and got me cabbage because I saw it was all season and I could use this plant this all the time whatever time of the year so that's a plus and uh, Zina, 
I got thinners. I already planted them, I think, in the middle of the week, last week. So it takes, uh, how, much, how long does it take to sprout? Oh, seven or ten days. So we still have time. I haven't seen any of them, but how cool would it be? having? I planted it like at the edges of my garden, all around it. How cool would it be to have this pretty varieties? like mist colors spotting around my garden with the green veggies and everything pretty 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 all right y'all and i don't know if i've ever showed you guys my olive god my olive garden <laughs> my olive tree however it is thriving and i'm happy about it uh yeah my house on again uh -huh. Yeah, went ahead and got me this big bag for it because it has a lot of um, flower buds on it that I believe um, was going to hopefully would become all this, but it's pulling it down. So I changed the stand, the support system that it had, and I'm hoping to use zip tags to hold it so that right now it's been supported by tape but I don't think that'll be strong enough so yeah I'll put this one in here too and this is my <laughs> don't laugh at me I can laugh I don't even care to be honest <laughs> this is my little garden bag from Home Depot that's how you know where I got my seeds from <laughs> this is not fun for you not sponsored at all but yeah it's where i got my garden from my space from so that will be it for today um i hope my garden survives from whatever it is that it's eating it up and y'all let me know what to do how to control this pest because i really want to enjoy the fruit of my labor and the fact that something is eating my radish already before I could have a taste of it, it's a no-brainer. It's no, no. Okay, please help me out here. Let me know what I could use to protect my garden, and if that radish is matured enough to be harvested, let me know. And also recipes for belly sprouts, if it's edible for human consumption or just for chickens, and uh, and um. Let's take our recipes for radish leaves and beets. Are they edible? Beet leaves. Are they edible? Beet leaves. Beet leaves and radish leaves. I know radish is edible. I just don't know how to make it. You salt it. You cook it with something. I don't know the process. Let me know if you've had it. And I'm happy to be on this journey with you guys. Hopefully, I'll see you guys next week. All right. Bye-bye.